of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I'm back with another video. If you guys have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you have to do is turn that bell on, subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed. In order to get notifications every time I drop a video in the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with the vibrating symbol. That way, you will be notified every time I drop a video on the Cryer family. Today, we are going to be doing a reaction. Husband catches his wife cheating with a rich man. Um, ends, ending is shocking. So this reminds me of that movie Acrimony. Just the title of it. Remember, the wife left her husband because he was struggling, trying to make ends meet. She led her family to believe that he would never become anything. And at the end, he ended up coming out, becoming this multi-millionaire with this invention that he had came up with and ended up rebuying his uh, ex-wife's new house and had him a new life. Um, so it was like a slap in the face. So we're gonna jump right into this video. After the video, guys, don't forget to comment, like, share the video. Hey, honey. Mm. Oh. Mm. No reason. Listen, um, my mom's not feeling well again. I'm gonna go spend the day with her. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. But before you go, I got you a little gift. much I love presents. This is a brand new bag from Zara. <laughs> you got me a bag from Zara? I'm going to be caught yeah. dead wearing that cheap brand. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. But look, as soon as I make VP of this company, I'm going to be able to buy you whatever bag you want. Okay. <laughs> right, Danny. You've been saying that for years. Oh, Erica, one day when I get a promotion, we're going to move out of this crap apartment and into a penthouse. Oh, Erica, one day I'm going to buy you whatever designer bag you want. I'll be honest. It is never going to happen, is it? Wow. <laughs> i got to go. All right, hey, I think you forgot something. Is this lingerie? Uh, Why would you need lingerie to go to your mother's? That's weird. I have no idea how this got in there. Oh, she know how I got in there. Definitely won't be doing that. She know how I got in there. You want to go to your mother's? Right. Of course. Why would I lie to you? Besides, if we don't have trust, we don't have anything, right? That's crazy to sit there. She put her hand on a man's shoulders. It's like, if we don't have trust, we don't have anything. But yet, it looks like she's the one who's the adulteress and up to some old slick stuff. And the reason why I said in the beginning of this video, this is very, very relatable, bro. I mean, I've witnessed and seen this with my own eyes, man. With people that I'm cool with, people that I know, people that I know back home, you know, that I was real cool with at one time. You know, I used to see stuff and I try to like put them up on game, like, bro, listen, man, something ain't right. They like, we got into it and had words and we're not even cool right to this day because they thought I was like, just trying to break them up. But then he realized later on that your boy was right. And we just still never talked since, but it's all good though. At least he was able to see that he was getting played and he was actually a married man. <laughs> okay, I gotta go back to work. Mm-mm, hell no. Nah. 
Rhonda, please tell mom that I hope she feels better soon. Yeah. Man. So after only two months of on this place, it's coming together really nice. Well, I must say I am impressed. Well, perhaps you'll be impressed by this little something I brought for you. <gasps> Reggie! You got me a gift from Gucci! <gasps> I knew I was gonna like you. Gucci, huh? Can I ask you a question? What? It's a pretty girl like you. Do it on a sugar daddy website. You know, there are plenty of men who would want to be with you. What? That's the thing right there, man. A lot of us, we get fooled by looks of how fine a woman is and how fine a man is. And I'm gonna tell you right now, those looks don't mean jack nothing. Because I'm gonna tell you, everybody has a mask on. You find somebody pretty, whether it's a man or woman, on a dating website, they're pretty as hell, but they single. It's an automatic red flag. Something's not right. People ain't just looking that good and got it going on and single for a reason. It's because, like, you go on a lot of guys, like, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like, guys, guys like a little story. You see a lot of people in relationships, right? But you notice the guy or the girl never follow each other or have any pictures of each other on their social media. Why do you guys think that is? I'm gonna tell you why it is. And people are gonna deny it, but it's the truth. I know for a fact. They don't post their significant others on their social media because they're keeping their options open in case something better comes along. If they see pictures of a guy or a girl on your social media, they feel like that it's gonna block their blessing from getting someone better. People thinking that saving their self to get with a rich person is gonna change their life. You can get with a rich person and it'll be the worst thing that ever happened to you. You know, it could be your curse. Well, to be honest, I do have a husband. It's just, he's not able to meet my needs. Mm. Before I left, he tried to give me a bag from Zara. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, no. Disrespect. A woman like you would not be wearing that. Exactly. Oh, you get it. I need a real man who can meet my needs. Y'all know the crazy thing about the bag from Zara versus the Gucci designer, did y'all realize that none of that stuff really means nothing? It really doesn't mean anything. It has no value. Literally, you go buy that, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have designer stuff myself, and I don't really wear it a lot or boast about it, but that designer stuff, once you take it off that shelf and pay thousands of dollars for it, the value of it goes all the way to zero. It means absolutely nothing. People look at you different because you got a designer bag versus a bag that's not designer. But if it was me and I approach somebody who's always designer, I would be kind of scared to even mess with that person. I have messed with people before who were like a, a lot of designer and my thoughts was my reality had became my reality that they were just what I thought they were. They were gold diggers, clock chasers, you know, um, just looking for a come up. So if you get with somebody who sport designer this and designer that, you better be ready to cash out and stay broke because it's gonna happen. You're gonna stay broke. Like you. Huh? Not that you and I go to my place. And she married. And penthouse, you know. You find out that's what happened. Exactly my type. 
Let's not get it twisted. A rich man or a rich woman is everybody's type until the mask comes off. Why don't I change into something a little more comfortable? Actually, before you do that, I have one more surprise for you. Ooh, I love surprises. Is it something designer? Even better. Give me a sec. Mmm, you know, butter something else. That's all right, to the Gucci gift. She never showed me the Gucci gift. What was in the Gucci bag? Or did I miss that? He gave her a Gucci bag, but she never showed what was in it. So? Oh, sh What's the surprise? Is that her husband? It's me. I'm the surprise. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be telling me that? I thought you were at your mother's. I was. I mean, I'm about to. I had to stop by a friend. Enough of the lies, Erica. I have been onto you for a very long time now. You see, you've been acting really strange lately. Always hiding your phone when you see me. Oh my God! I, I saying I'll, you're gonna be staying at your mom's. All the I time. remember them days, man. The other day, I came home early to tell you some really big news. Only to find your phone on the bed with a text message from Daddy. That's when I found out you were on a dating website. I was devastated. I wanted to see if you'd actually cheat on me. So I asked one of my friends to create a profile and message you on the site. Wow, set her up. Just to see how far you take it. So you see, Reggie isn't just some sugar daddy that you met on the internet. He's my friend. And I have known what you've been doing all along. Mm, all along. What did you expect, Daddy? I want designer things. I want to live somewhere nice. What, am I just supposed to sit around and wait for you to get some promotion? Mm. Oh, well actually, Please tell that, that you got big it. news that I wanted to tell you about earlier? Tell me that you own company. I got that promotion. And not only are they offering me a rather hefty salary, Turns out, I get a very large bonus as well. You are? Mm -hmm. So that means... Drop that gold digger. Gonna be making a lot more money? Yep. Oh. <gasps> and this... is a gift that I got you. Oh. <laughs> but that was before I knew that you were cheating on me, so... Probably gonna take that back. I was just asking about what was in the bag. Let's just go home and talk about everything. Absolutely not. I'm sure we can work this all out. Kick her ass to the curb. Right. Well, we're at my home. Oh, that's his pen. Got the keys last week. I was gonna give them to you as a bit of a gift. <laughs> but it's his pen. I don't pen. think you're gonna be needing these. It's his penthouse. So why don't you just go? No, no. Please, give me another chance. No. Absolutely because not. someone wants to me. Kick mud. If we don't have trust, then we don't have anything. Didn't she say that earlier in the video? Danny, please. Don't do this. Oh, no. Just go. Just go. Take that lingerie with you. Mm. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. See, guys, this stuff right here is like so freaking real. 
this is what goes on in everyday life, man. You get with somebody, and this ain't just about women. This, this is about guys, too, because there are some gold-digging guys out there, too. They get with these women because they see them with a designer purse or designer shoes on, and they think that they hit a gold line. Women do the same. They get with guys who can do more for them because they see the, the nice wristwatch and stuff. But what you don't really realize, man, is if that person got it going on like that, designer this, designer that, all this and all that, shouldn't you guys be asking yourself a question, why are they single in the first place? Why are they single in the first place? You see, me, I don't have a problem answering why I'm single. And I am single. I'm single because I seem to not be able to get it right when I do get with someone. I'm not afraid to admit. Or the person that I get with was already, you know, coming in with bad intentions in the first place. So watch the people that you date, watch the company that you keep, and if you meet somebody on a dating website, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I don't know anybody who successfully matched up with anyone on a dating website. I'm not saying that it hasn't happened, but I'm saying I personally don't know anyone. But anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. But I love you guys, man. Until next time, it's your boy Damian Cryer. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.